napanood ko eh, isang interview mo kahapon. Yan. Na lumabas. Oh. Kag kagabi ba ito? Kasi diba, naging mainit yung balitaan. Na. Okay. Mm. okay. Ito ba, may proximity ba ito? Halimbawa, yung itong issue sa napabalitang... Hindi ko nga, ano ba yung issue ng mga tao dito? Malaki yung sweldo? Si uh, dating um, spokesperson Harry Roque, no? Mm. Na sinasabi na may nakitang dokumento at uh, siya vouching for... Si AR, sabi si nga ni AR, o, oh, oh, yun pala. Executive palayas. Assistant 3. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Medyo mataas-taas. Oh, salary grade 20, no? Okay. So, ano ba ang... Kung hihimayin natin, mm -hmm. bago tayo pumunta doon sa interview okay. mo, kung hihimayin natin, ano ba ang interest dito? Bakit nagtitrending siya? Ito ba yung nanggagaling from a place of hostility from a certain sector of society o ano? Uh, una, oh, balikan natin yung, yung ano, principles ng newsworthiness. Una, dahil former presidential spokesperson si Harry Roque, mm -hmm. that's, that makes him a prominent person, mm -hmm. especially in politics, kahit sabihin pa natin na former siya. Uh, pag nagsalita siya, di ba, merong weight yung kanyang sinasabi. Mm -hmm. no? Especially now na lumalabas siya sa mga uh, prayer rallies, we'll talk about that later, uh, at pinakikinggan well, siya ng tao. What he prayed for. Ayan o, oh, ayan o, oh, di ba? So, the fact na news uh, outlets are carrying that, uh, sabihin, uh -huh. may weight yung kanyang statement. Mm -hmm. As a prominent political figure, uh, tapos, um, it's really not much about proximity, but more about yung... Um, As travel companion, may proximity siguro. May... Hindi, <laughs> 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 uh -huh. joke lang, joke. Okay, tuloy, 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 okay. <laughs> Yun, pero, uh, you know, going back to this, di ba, ito, mm -hmm. um, should I say there's a bit of uh, conflict, I guess, kasi uh, you're, you're a polit you are a public official, tapos merong nakitang dokumento na pirmado mo sa isang lugar na ni-raid ng police. Mm -hmm. That, I think, sets the conflict. That, uh, you know, conflict of interest. Yun. I, I, I don't think uh, an item naman has to contain everything, pero yeah. isa o dalawa lang okay na yun. Yes. So, Okay, so, alam natin na being that, that whole bruhaha. Mm -hmm. Pero nung na, sa interview mo, Bri, mm -hmm. mukhang cool na cool lang naman siya. Sinasagot niya ng walang kapanik-panik. Mm. Parang mahinahon. At sinabi niya na mataga, matagal na yan. Kasi marami yan sila. IT person pala who takes care of the social media. Tama nga ba? Oo. Uh, may mga clarify siya si, si uh, Attorney Roque doon sa mga Uh, doon nga sa issue surrounding that. Uh, yan, nakita natin yung, uh, yan yung, yan, yung yan, uh, yan. interview natin last uh -oh. night. Uh, he was all smiles actually. Uh, kasi galing siya nun sa speech. He was the last person to speak at uh, the prayer rally held in Angeles City, Pampanga. So imagine, Lord, from here. Yun ang proximate. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Proximate. Kung, kasi holiday kahapon, di ba? Yes, so medyo yes, walang yes. traffic. Mm -hmm. So medyo proxim, ano, medyo may proximity naman kung tutuusin. <laughs> di ba? Okay. Malapit yeah. doon. Sa, ang... Ah, malapit sa ano. Aha. Uh -huh. Sige, sige. So tuloy. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Oh, remember, yung kung saan ni Raid yung, or yung Pogo Hub na ni Raid is in Porak, which is mm -hmm. another town in Pampanga. Then the prayer rally was held in Angeles City. Tapos, uh, of course, uh, the president, uh, former President Rodrigo Duterte didn't make it. So, nag-video message ah, lang siya. Ah, punta dapat siya doon. Oo, okay. kasi prayer rally ng ano yan, mga Duterte. Tapos, uh, at mga supporters. And then, so, so, Attorney Harry Roque was the last person to speak. Mm -hmm. Ayan, so... Uh, of course, dun sa uh, part na yon. this is not the first time na may prayer rally, di ba, ang mga Duterte. So he, of, co of course, echoed the sentiments, yung sinasabi niya, na sentiments daw ng taong bayan, which is, uh, kailangan daw papanagutin ang mga, ang mga marko sa mga pangako na hindi daw natutupad. So yun sinabi niya dun sa speech. Okay. Uh -oh. Pero ano bakit? sinabi niya dun sa, sorry, Ay, ano muna yung sinabi niya dun sa yung pumutok na issue, kung saan nga, kung bakit nakita yung papel. Pero wait, uh, hindi niya in-address naman siguro sa prayer rally yun, ano? Ali, uh, hindi, hindi. Ah, ano sa interview mo? Dun sa interview itas, mo? Oo, oh, 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 kaya nga medyo, ano tayo eh, medyo lumapit na tayo talaga kasi, hmm. uh, ano, at may kita niyo rin naman sa body language niya, ni, ni Attorney Roque, na ano, at, at some point, nung tinatanong ko na yung, yung tungkol dun sa, documents that were found in the raided Pogo Hub, medyo miiwas na, medyo lum, ano, naglalakad na siya. So, of course, I had to, to catch up with him, di ba? So, uh -huh. he said, oo, essentially, yung sinabi niya, he, wa he echoed what the Presidential Anti-Organized Crime Commission said last Saturday na yung mga dokumento, 
have no criminal nature. So, parang innocent yung document. Ah, so, so ang unang niya, mong tinanong ay tungkol sa documents. Yan. Ah, actually, hindi. O yung, yung nirekta mo na agad may yung... May siningit muna ako kasi dahil nga he, he came from the speech. Yes. Di ba? And by the way, yung, yung closing song nila is was Bayan Ko. So, talagang very, you know, oh, very dramatic yung... Anip. Very dramatic yung... yung okay. Quite dramatic for them. Yung Ibo moment mang na yun. Ibo mong may lumipad. Yeah, may torch lighting and people were holding up their phones like this. Yung Ooh. merong may flashlight. So, talagang ano... Um, it was a moment for them, hmm? if you would ask them. Then after that, so I asked first muna na, uh, attorney, are you, is, is this uh, the Duterte's, you know, presenting themselves as the opposition? Kasi, I mean, 2025 is just around the corner. Tapos after 2025, 2028 na. Yeah. Officially, nasabi mo. Diba? Parang, ano, is this, ano, opposition? Kasi, and, and there were calls, by the way, from from the audience, yung mga participants sa rally, na ang tarpoli sila, BBM resigned. So they were asked, yeah, they were asking the uh, President Bongbong Marcos to step down kasi feeling nila ay hindi natupad yung mga, mm. yung mga pangako ng administrasyon. So I asked uh, Attorney Roque, yan, yeah, uh, is, is that, um, kumbaga, ito po ba eh, paraan ng pagpresenta ng mga Duterte bilang opposite? Although he said, uh, he clarified it right away na hindi, it's not Duterte versus Marcos, it's Taumbayan uh, versus uh, the Marcos administration. Kumbaga, it's a form of taking, asking them, no, asking the Marcos administration to be accountable for the promises they made, for their campaign promises. Mm -hmm. Yon. So, hindi, hindi daw, dahil wala naman daw election, hindi naman daw tumatakbo sa election ang mga taong ito, uh, hindi raw masasabi na opposition sila. At least, mm -hmm. Uh, based okay, based okay, okay. on what okay. what we asked them last time. Mm -hmm. And then saka ko pinasok yung tungkol dun sa uh, dun sa documents, mm -hmm. documents. na ano uh, mm -hmm. which of course um uh, medyo dahil na hindi siya related muna sa rally, di ba? So medyo pumasintabi ako ng konti. And then he he answered it naman right away and he uh, sabi ni uh, Attorney Roque nagsalita na ang Pau CC, nagsalita uh, ang sabi ay Walang criminal nature yung mga dokumento. Uh, these are innocent documents that happen to be there in mm -hmm. the in the Pogo Hub. And then medyo yun medyo na lakad lakad na siya pa dito. After sinagot niyo yun, medyo, medyo malo na siya, mm -hmm. medyo gumagalaw Kasi na siya. Alam, mukhang na sense na yung susunod na tanong. Uh -huh. Yeah. The next question of course and and because eto rin kasi yung mga lumalabas sa social media whenever you search uh, itong, ayan, this issue, si Attorney Roque at saka si Alberto de la Serna, mm -hmm. ang lumalabas usually is pageant title holder. Yes. Uh, and of course, some people would ask, parang anong ginagawa niya dyan? Because, di ba? Ano bang profile? Yan. So, yun ang tinong natin kay Attorney Roque na, okay, ano po ba itong qualifications ni, uh, ni A.R. de la Serna? So, aside from being a pageant title holder, apparently, he holds a bachelor's degree in business administration. Okay. Yan. So, college graduate daw si uh, A.R. de la Serna. Grumabit daw siya sa isang university sa Tagbilaran, Bohol. Tapos, uh, he, he elaborated na galing pala sa political family Prominent ito. Family nga raw mm -hmm. eh. Si A.R. de la Serna. So, we looked it up. Uh, yung, merong isang dating governor ng Bohol na pangalan, eh, Victor de la Serna. I think Victor is also a bar top-notcher. Hmm. Was a, sorry, was a bar top-notcher. Uh, Victor de la Serna used to be government, uh, government governor of uh, the province of Bohol. Mm -hmm. Tapos meron para raw isa pang kamag-anak si AR na na vice mayor naman dati. Mm -hmm. So, sabi niya meron political roots. Brian singit ko lang no kasi 'di ba um uh, nailatag yung profile niya, college graduate siya, yes. comes from a political family. Pero yung isa sa mga tanong ng ating mga netizens is does that give him the license to take care or be a kumbaga, travel, qualified nga eh. travel companion nga kasi sabi for medical reasons, di ba? Meron bang ganun? May background ba siya sa ganyan? Sa med medical background? Well, uh, yan ang hindi masyadong in-elaborate ni, ni Attorney Roque. But again, uh, ito lobas sa rin sa Philippine Star ito. Mm -hmm. Lobas sa rin sa ibang publications na yung uh, degree na hawak ni, ni AR is uh, business administration. Mm -hmm. So, not healthcare, hindi nursing, hindi medicine, it's business administration. Um, although, we have to remember his position is executive assistant. Mm -hmm. So, kung nasaan ang boss mo, dun ka rin. Uh -huh. Yun. Diba? Oy, by the way, tama na-mention mo rin, Lord, kanina, yung IT. Mm -hmm. 
Ayun, so yun din pala I, you know, eh. Oo, yun din yung role ni uh, uh, AR de la Serna uh, when Attorney Roque was in Malacañang na tumulong daw sa, sa social media presence ni Attorney Roque itong si AR de la Serna at yung mga kaibigan mm-hmm. nito kasi mag, mag, magbabarkada raw sila na tum, nagtulong-tulong para dun sa social media presence ni Attorney Roque. Even nung elections, tumakbo si uh, uh, Attorney Roque, it was an unsuccessful bid. Um, AR de la Serna and uh, his friends also helped him with that new social media presence. Sa ayang yung effort, mag- mukhang magagaling pa naman, no? di ba? Yeah. Tama mo? So, overqualified pala pagdating sa... Pero anyway, ito ba yung first time mo na- na-interview na- na- naman si Attorney Roque in the past, right? Ah, yes. Nung uh, before, during that uh, uh, rally by uh, Pastor Apollo Kibuloy's supporters mm-hmm. uh, sa may um, Liwasang Bonifacio. Ah, that one. So, yun naman... Uh, before I remember that one, before naman siya sumalang sa, sa stage for mm-hmm. his speech, saka siya nagpa-interview. Oh, kasi Yon. tinanong, I, I only ask, kasi baka may nanotice kang may pagbago ba sa demeanor niya, tono niya, nung tinanong mo yung, hmm. Uh, yun naman, uh, lagi, na, lagi siyang diretsyo sumagot. Saka mag- actually, mabilis nga, medyo mabilis ding magsalita si attorney. Kaya minsan. Matara yan, ha? Uh, pero, In fairness, last night, he was all smiles. Mm. Um, talaga, kasi inabangan ko eh. So, I'm not sure if if, if uh, anyone from the organizers informed Attorney Roque that uh, News 5 was there and that mm. we were aiming to to conduct an interview with him because um, there were also other news organizations, if I'm not mistaken, kahit One News, at uh, tried to get uh, Attorney Roque kahapon, but he declined because he was at the rally. Mm. So, yun yung dahilan nun. Kaya, ano? Uh, I'm sure hindi magpapa-interview yan. John, kaya Pero po, ninja oh. ka. You are a ninja. <laughs> Naka, nagawa ng paraan. Galing mo, ha? Kail- uh, thank you. Kailangan na natin gawin ito kasi, syempre. Abanga, oh. Abangan ang subject. Pounce when ready. At yung diskarte niya o sa mga gusto maging reporters yun, balang araw, ha? <laughs> yun. Hindi nyo... Sa, tatanungin ng rekta yung isang tao kung lalong mabigat yung issue. Oo. Swabe muna. Oo. Mm-hmm. Kasi kay, human na ele- the human factor. Yes. Thank you sa'yo. Alam mo, bitin tong usapan natin. Pre, <laughs> kailangan pa natin ng tatlong round pa dito. Pero salamat sa'yo. <laughs> Thank, 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 Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Reporter na nakascoop sa, <clears throat> sa mainit na issue.